Hey guys, what is up? We're back with another week of The Elusive Samurai and the first two episodes was completely bonkers. My boy Tokiyuki went through it from losing his entire family to being betrayed by two of the most important people in his life. One of them being his aides who was behind the whole orchestra of taking out his family the aids and everything and mind you he was an aide he he was basically one of the containers and now his uncle who was tasked with watching over his older brother and seated that his older brother was executed so my boy had to pay back in blood and mind you all of this is happening and he's only eight years old and he has a task where in the next two years he has to take back everything from the people that betrayed him so without further ado let's get into the elusive samurai episode three don't tell me we're getting another dream again Hey. Ooh. You already stained your hands with blood at age eight. Oh boy. What was the whole point of throwing the sword? Boy, how you run so fast? What happened? Wait, what? Why are you trapping the boy? Your domain. <laughs> I just can't help it. I'm sorry. This boy got trapped to get oh lord. It 
is this man an ENTP? Like, <laughs> he's really giving that. Yeah, he's gonna be a problem to fight in the future. Who chatting? Yeah, because his dad was a puppet leader and all the other retainers were basically pulling the strings behind. What? Also, he's a real. Oh. Oh, so he's not fake. This dang. Oh, so he's really not a fake shaman. This man might- What is wrong with this- oh my Jesus.
What? 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 Hold on. This man is a fake. This man, I, I don't. Uh, you did this to yourself, oh my God. This man is a menace. <laughs> this man is literally a menace. from the okay yeah I thought the tall girl was at least 12 because she's so dang tall Not a spirit bomb. Not a spirit bomb. Really? How, how are you using a future? <laughs> no, I can't with this here as well. What? Exactly. You running for the hills, my boy. I mean, she... Right. Girl, why are you so evil? God of Hunt oh, okay. Oh no. What's gonna happen to when they go hunting? I don't wanna see the oh okay, thank god, thank god. Why are you taking on no?
was going to kill the rabbit. She turned into my fist. Type of bo that ain't no regular boy. They ain't got a tough hind. All to fall to is that okay? Nah, that's one looking weird looking board, bro. I still can't get over it. I could. Jesus Christ. Shatter and rocks with the just I would not want any of this me. It looks this it looks like like it has a bunch of disease written in its body. Look, look at all those Things coming out of his face, though. No, 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 that 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 board looks disease written like ooh. Dad. Ancient time. It looks like a Ghibli character right there, I'm not gonna lie. No. <laughs> That's too long.
that you support. So basically the title of the series. <laughs> Not him eating the entire beast. Who is you? I'm guessing they're also throwing in fantasy because that boar did not look normal. Because the opening, even though it was vaguely telling us of like the opposite sides going against each other, there was also this creature that looks like something straight from Inuyasha. So I'm going to go on the limb that possibly there is some fantasy mix up into this in the sense of like you might see mystical creatures because this this boar did not look it was eating bunnies i still can't get over ayaka because she's so physically strong that my boy i forgot his name real quick saw her turn rabbits into red the how strong do you gotta be to throw some a rock trying to you know catch your prey and there's nothing left of it <laughs> Except for this. Do, do you know how strong you gotta be, bro? That you picked up like a medium sized rock and you threw it with such force that the entire animal evaporated <laughs> into mist. It's their blood that now evaporates. I'm scared of her getting older. Whatever man tries to do her wrong. May God, may Buddha be on his side. Because she's going to also turn him into redness. I'll just leave it there. But again, the animation. Peak. Him dodging the attacks from the boar. Amazing. Okay, even when there was points where like, where Yoroshige was, found him when he was trying to run away from his responsibilities. Again, he grew up in a, in a home where his father was nothing more than a puppet lord because his father was mentally gone and so all the other retainers were the ones who had the actual powers so all his life as as yurishige was telling all the others was that tokiyuki never had an actual goal for himself because he was taught from a very young age that nothing he does will amount to anything because somebody else is going to be doing it and he's just there to be the face of everything, but he has nothing to obtain through his own hard work. So what's the point of working hard if all the credit is actually going to go to someone else? What's that point of actually trying? And so the whole point is in this episode for the most part is Yurishige is trying to show Tokiyuki that his efforts will pay off but that's only if he's willing to put in the hard work and don't let nobody else take in the credit. Hence why he's saying you're going from zero to hero if we go by doing all these things to prepare you for basically the inevitable, which is to reclaim Kamakura at the end of the day in the next two years. So that's why you need to physically train your body. That's why you need to physically train your mind. You both need the physical teachings as well as the academic teachings to prepare you. And that's something that you can rely You can look back and say, yeah, I did that myself. So, yeah, you're a good runner. That's great and all, but you're going to need a little bit more stuff added on to that. 
so that was basically the whole gist of because again it's understandable he's a kid not only on top of that he took out his uncle you know so on top of losing his entire family this is his first time you know having blood on his hands being the person to execute another person so for him it's easy to run away from his problems because all his life that's basically what he was taught up until that point just put on a face uh be used for someone else's purpose and yeah so now he actually has to start taking responsibility basically for himself and his own actions he can't just always run away from them when it's convenient for him so other than that again phenomenal animation the running away even showing when he was talking to him and show like uh a quick flash of like all the bodies that's going to be laying before him i'm guessing that's a foreshadowing of the events to come um because he he is going to war he is in the midst of preparation for war uh two years from now and obviously him getting close with the other kids uh who are also his retainers so it's good that he's going to form strong bonds with all of these characters that surround him because he's going to need a lot of that and to also get acquainted with the people of Sua Village. Now, in regards to that guy by the end of the episode, um, my boy is going to get in some conflicts because that guy looks like he got Taco uh, taco from Kuroko no Basuke to Hawkeye. He got a Hawkeye. So, we're dealing with the go gods. Oh, this is Kuroko no Basuke. Like, all right, so Taco had Hawk's Eye, right? And Akashi had Emperor's Eye, basically God's Eye. So we're basically getting that next week. Oh, the, I wonder how that played out. Because we really, we kind of saw that in season three of Kuroko no Basuke. But now we're taking this into the historical aspect. So I wonder how that going. And on top of that, this man has animosity toward your, uh, your Shige. Guys. Tell me your thoughts down below. If you are a manga reader, of course, no spoilers, but do tell me how you felt about this episode versus the chapters it's adapted from, uh, anime onlys. Do tell me how you felt so far between episode one to currently episode three, and what are your predictions for the next episode? All the links are down below. Of course, as well, full video will be uploaded onto my Patreon, so all the support is greatly appreciated. And I am Kimi-chan, and I'll see you guys later. Bye.